Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here I've got the Blue Yeti USB microphone, which is one of the most popular USB microphones that you can buy. And today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and attach it to the Mac Studio so you can make audio recordings using this type of microphone. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. And what you're going to find is that this is quite an interesting microphone because it uses the mini USB cable and this uses the USB-A connector at the back. So I'm just going to show you how to plug this into the Mac Studio. So all you really need to do is to turn the Mac Studio around and you're going to find two USB-A ports here. All you have to do is to plug this straight into the back of one of these USB-A ports and then this light will turn straight on and you'll know that this is now functioning. If you don't have any USB-A ports free, what you can do is to use this Alien USB-A to C adapter and all you have to do is to plug these together and this makes a USB-C connector. And you can plug it into one of these back USB-C ports like so and that's going to plug into the back there, the red light's turned on or you can face this towards you and then you can use one of the USB-C ports at the front here. Once that lights on, you'll know that the Blue Yeti is working. So in order to configure the Blue Yeti with the Mac Studio, all you need to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen, click on the Apple logo here and then click on System Preferences. Now we're gonna find the sound settings here and then click on Sound. And then we're gonna to go to the Input tab here. And what you're gonna find is that there's going to be a Blue Yeti microphone device. So if I click on this now, and if I make a noise, you can see that the levels are being picked up here. So I can tap on this, you can see that the level on this section here is turning up straight away. And that means that the system is now picking up the Blue Yeti microphone. If you want to configure this for something like Microsoft Teams or Skype, then all you need to do is to select the Yeti stereo microphone as an input, and you'll be able to do this for video calling. If you want to make a screen recording with voice, all you have to do is to go to the spotlight here, and I'm going to type in screenshot. I'm going to open up the screenshot application. And now we have the option to click the Yeti stereo microphone. And the icon here will turn into a camera. If I press the camera button now, I'm going to get this stop icon here. When I actually stop, then this is going to create a video recording. And that will appear on your desktop. And then if I double click this. So that's recorded my voice there. And that means that the Blue Yeti is working perfectly. There are no drivers and no additional software required. It's simply plug and play as long as you've got the correct adapter. Anyway, I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.